You're watching Cartel TV and I am Jenny. Now this particular vehicle caters to a very specific palette. While still being able to fit a couple of palettes in it, actually two full size Australian palettes to be precise. Now I'm going to run through everything that you would want to know about the future van. Amelia covered the design of the Staria nicely in her review. Now, as mentioned, I have the load version and there are some pretty significant differences, especially considering it's a commercial vehicle. It keeps the low window line, but we don't get the huge windows all through the back. Instead, steel panels. There are 17 inch practical steel wheels. Now up front, it's obviously still that futuristic Staria look with a bit of bird poo for organic effect. Well, the front, I can say that it definitely stands out. The rear access has the option of either a lift back or a swing door. And I have a lift back. Oh. <laughs> and while the People Mover Staria is only available in a range of darker colours, the Staria Load gives you a choice of two light colours, either creamy white or this shimmering silver. It's just the one engine option. The 2.2 litre diesel, it gives 130 kilowatts and 430 newton metres of torque. Fuel consumption is a nice 7 litres per 100 kilometres. It's a front wheel drive and has 8 speed auto transmission. It's an improved engine and chassis setup when compared to the iLoad. The all new Staria load is lighter and larger and gives better brake towing capacity when compared to the outgoing iLoad. The brake towing capacity is 2.5 tonnes. So Hyundai has taken the 2021's Hyundai Santa Fe platform and applied it to the Staria load. So it does feel a little bit more familiar to drive. Some personal opinions. It's a smooth drive. Can't complain. We get the surround view camera as standard on all the lift back models and not the swing tailgate. When we couple this with the maneuverability, it makes parking this heifer actually pretty easy. And it also helps a lot with slithering your way through narrow city alleyways. Up front, this thing is huge, but still minimalistic, so it gives you space to move around. The front cabin has so much space and the gap between the seats is really significant, so if the cage wasn't there, I'd easily be able to just walk through to the back. But even though there is plenty of space and we don't get a central storage area, we actually have plenty of storage bins all around the front cabin. You have roof trays, there's dash trays and door pockets, lots of them on both sides. Um, Cup holder here, cup holder here. I mean, and it's got wireless charging. The infotainment system is a decent eight inches and it has all the expected multimedia perks, including Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. It's nicely positioned in the line of sight and almost in line with the display cluster. Last nice little perk I want to mention is the fact that you have a nifty finger parking brake. As opposed to some of the more awkward parking brake options you normally get in vans. Now let's talk cargo, since that's what you're probably buying this for. As you can see, I've got the two-seater version here, but you can add an extra row of seats via a bench seat, but the dimensions stay the same. Access to the cargo area is by these widened side doors or this huge liftback tailgate area. The Staria is longer and wider than the iLoad, which makes it relatively easy to move around in. And it's also quite low, which is good for loading and for getting in and out of. But what I would have liked to see was some handles along here because it's still, you know, just something to grab onto on your way in or out would have been nice. There's eight tie down points around here. And considering how long and flat this space is back here, I definitely consider using them. This two seat van gives a volume of 4,935 litres. The cargo length is 2,067 millimetres, the width is 1,640 millimetres, and its height is 1,436 millimetres. Just as a comparison, I will show you these dimensions alongside the top two sellers in the segment, in the Toyota Hiace and the Ford Transit long wheelbase. As I mentioned, the Staria load fits two Australian pallets or three Euro pallets. Euro pallets can also easily fit through the side sliding doors. Now there's a stack of safety features, but I'll just mention a special few. Like the fact you have seven airbags positioned around the cabin. You can have that awesome surround view monitor as standard, which rivals don't have. And you also get smart cruise control with stop and go, blind spot collision, avoidance assist, lane keeping assist, and lane follow assist. This two seat van has a manufacturer's listed price of $45,740. What can I say? I mean, it's a van. 
but it looks different to vans we have seen on the market before. It also has taken a significant leap forward in every area, including design, practicality, and safety. I guess this is Hyundai just flexing again. And even a vehicle that theoretically should just tick the boxes and do its basic job well. We see Hyundai pushing the envelope on what we can expect to see with a van. And thanks again for watching Cartel TV. And don't forget to subscribe and join us on social media. And if you use a van like this in your everyday life, what do you think about all these cool new features? Is this something that would make your life more easy? Let us know in the comments and we'll see you in the next review. Peace.